for clicking on this video i really hope that if you suck at laundry just like i do that you will get a lot of tips and tricks and just simple things that you can introduce into your laundry habits to help you get things done around the house because we all know it's great when you have a bare floor especially if you're used to like seven to ten loads of laundry and you just can't get that one load a day in and you just you know you just can't get it together so I'm here today to share with you what my laundry split looks like as well as just other laundry tips and tricks I've done along the way so I started here with decluttering and purging my laundry for the last seven to eight months I have been decluttering my entire house and the one thing that has really helped me to get my laundry routine in order is just minimizing the amount that we have now let me tell you, I'm all for having backup clothes, hand-me-downs. We live in Michigan, so Michigan is an all-season state. So in the morning, we could be wearing a jacket. In the afternoon, we can be wearing shorts. So it's crucial that I hang on to things. But I really took the time to go through and really decide what I liked and didn't, what made me feel good, what didn't, and what I actually needed to keep for my kids, what was kind of not great and I could get rid of. And then that left me with, you know, just a lot less to manage. My husband also went through his clothes and his own time and when I do do my laundry just to note while I'm saying it now my husband does do his own laundry and I just handle me and my two daughters laundry so and I have done this laundry purge like about four times now so far since January but in the beginning clip that was from a video I did earlier this year and that was the largest one to date but I'm still going through and getting things in and out of the closet as well as swapping out seasonal stuff and you'll see here I have just a regular door size closet me and my husband share this closet um, and even with just this little bit amount of space I need to be more cautious about what I'm putting in here to keep it organized another great tip is to just use color coordinated hangers I took all these colored hangers out I use them in my laundry drying rack station by my washer and I try to put all white ones in the closet now don't run out and spend a bunch of money but maybe over the next year or so start trying to get all your hangers color coordinated and that will help it look a lot more organized so here is our closet currently and um, I'm just loving it so far my next tip is that if you're struggling to afford laundry care products and that's hindering you from adopting a washing schedule then you should try to DIY your laundry products I definitely done this before I used to use the powdered version of this but now I'm trying my hand at the liquid version and I'm going to be using the Tide knockoff basically. So um, I will have this recipe listed down below. It's I got it from Pinterest so you can read what the author has to say about it directly. But it is just water, a Fels naphtha bar, some borax and some washing soda and then you basically just kind of cook that down, mix everything together. And it does take like a day to curate I guess. Um, and then I did a really neat trick at the end that somebody had offered up in the um, comment section on her the blog post and so it really did make it super comparable to the store-bought like laundry detergent so I'll definitely insert that at the end and tell you about it so you just have to remember when doing this I figured this would be an awesome thing to just show you the process of this because I feel like a lot of us want to live a more frugal lifestyle and that doesn't have to mean you know skimp and shrimp on everything that we do but there's definitely smart ways we can introduce more frugal living to help us stay more on budget and just you know um, be a little bit more nicer to the environment I think overall I mean I'm no saint but you know I figured this would be a really great way to save some money and you know I want to teach my girls too on ways that they can go about their life where they're not having to take on these huge burdens and they know how to get by if they need to so that's why I really wanted to share this recipe with you guys um, just to show you because you know the only thing truly necessary for our laundry is soap so that it's clean and then you know if you want to amp it up and you know make it more motivational for you you can add your scent beads to your wash or your fabric softener which you could actually use vinegar in your rinse cycle as fabric softener as well and you know for two dollar gallon you know that will probably last you a while um, so I'm just showing you ways here that you can introduce more frugal living and I'm just showing you here too that I'm doing it and not just you know saying it I'm going to be doing this with you guys if you guys want to try this liquid version with me then we can do it together that would be awesome and we can share feedback and tips and you know if we need to make revisions or something one of you comes up with don't hesitate to share that with me because I'm totally on board with saving money um, also to this you could just add essential oils if you have an essential oils packet um, I mean not packet but you know a pack of essential oils and you want to just put your own recipe in here for a scent you can do that as well 
The consistency of this was pretty weird um, at the end. It was sort of like gel, I guess, is the only way I can really explain it. It kind of reminded me of like the jelly consistency that you'll get after maybe you cook a ham. Um, and then it needed to be broke down and mixed up. Of course, that's after it was already done, not right there in that clip. That was just me mixing it up. But mine, because I didn't grate it, it kind of was taking a really long time. So I let it boil down for probably like 15 or 20 minutes. Not boil, but it was on like medium heat, but it was frothing up. So I decided to just go ahead and mix it. I did use my big spoon that had little holes in it just to kind of um, allow like all the different liquids to kind of just really get mixed up instead of just sloshing back and forth because there was a powder solution in here as well. And at this point it's all done. All you had to do at this point was just let it sit overnight with the lid on airtight. And um, then once I open it, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So at this point, I just want to show you what it's going to turn out like after it's all done. Like I said, you have to put the airtight top on. I got this container at Home Depot. It cost me $5 for the lid and the container together. And then this is what you get. Now, I think this is only because mine wasn't graded down. I get these little thick um, droplets at the top. However, they're not a problem at all. All it is is little bits of soap. It's not going to ruin your washer or anything. Um, and so I'm just here to show you under that is just the actual soap. So it's just a small film on top with that. And the bottom looks really close to store-bought laundry detergent. Now this is a pretty concentrated mix. I could have put more water in here. Um, it might look quite watery to you, but it is really concentrated. It took me like forever just to get it off my hand after getting it on my hand. So going to have that washing powder for sure. Now I added Tide to mine just because I really like the scent and I never use Tide because of the cost but I figured if I could stretch the Tide then I would do like a, um, you know a Tide knockoff basically. But if you don't use Tide and you use any kind of other laundry detergent or you just skip adding the conventional laundry detergent to this recipe like stated in the recipe down below then you can make this entire bucket for about ten dollars. And this bucket is going to be about three to five gallons depending on how much you fill it up. So the trick here of how I got it to be like that store-bought consistency is I just took my hand mixer and I broke up all the little jelly pieces in there and just kind of pushed them through the mixer so that way it um, you know made the solution a little bit more conventional. how to do more laundry for less let's get into my laundry routine I follow basically a split which is um, a wash every other morning and I fold and pre-hang one time per week and I wash towels and linens one time per week basically or as needed so um, I will say that my kids are in charge of folding the towels I like to you know kind of sort through my washing rags and sort them in my drawer how I wish but I do give the kids the task of folding the towels because um, you know it helps them learn responsibility and unless you're showcasing them out in like a guest bathroom or something they don't need to be on display they're not going to be perfect when they fold them I will tell you that uh, it might be a little bit annoying at first if you're used to having control over things but you have to relinquish some of that so that you can get some help around the house Next up, this is the laundry products that I use. I know I got a couple questions. Uh, I actually found these booster, the small booster scent beads at Dollar Tree. I'm just giving those a go, never used them before. But typically I'll use this Snuggle fabric softener. These Downy Unstoppables are new to me, but I love the purple ones. I always use the Awesome Spray and the Laundry Sanitizer um, Wash. So this Awesome is awesome <laughs> but you can pretty much use it everywhere it has no acid ammonia bleach and um you can get this at dollar tree too they, they sell a smaller bottle for only a dollar but i use this to just treat, treat the stains and here's some of the things that it removes here some of the places it says that you can use this throughout your home and business and your auto and boat. And as I was saying, these 
these are like the Dollar Tree knockoff version of the little scent bead boosters this was only a buck so these are super great to use in just linens jackets backpacks purses you know things that you're not going to use all the time especially if you're using downy unstoppables or the like because they are super expensive so if you want to be budget friendly then I would recommend not using scent beads but they are pretty strong and I love that they um, you know they will help to they're just motivating overall that's really the only thing they're just motivating you want to smell the laundry sometimes and so I like putting them on things that are um, you know that aren't being washed all the time and this laundry sanitizer is like my favorite thing it's like the go-to if you're having potty training or sickness if you have pet things to wash I just love utilizing that and it really takes the mildew smell out of towels I also have a mesh bag here for that I can start to wash my like new bras in and stuff like that if you have delicates and this is an option I don't use these often but I do have these dryer wool balls if you just throw these in the wash with your load so that they're wet and then you can throw them in your dryer as your um, you know your static clean um, option instead of using dryer sheets because they're reusable and you're welcome to use essential oils for scent Okay, so another laundry tip that I have moving back into um, what I like to do for my routine is I would say to invest in some sturdy baskets if you can. Cute laundry baskets too that are colorful that make you want to get the job done. Um, and also some smaller manageable ones and ones that are for sorting. So I have like regular basket size in the back. The two in the middle are for like sorting out undergarments and stuff I need to carry around. And then the two black ones in the front are actually bins that came out of my daughter's drawers. And those are what actually um, home the socks and then the underwear set off to the side. Okay, so first and foremost, definitely utilize what you have. Um, don't go out and spend a bunch of money. All I'm trying to say is that it's without a doubt extra motivation to have cute colorful things around and just easier manageable size baskets if you have to lug your laundry around so if you're having a problem with that but you can find it in your budget maybe you can diy some soaps and then collect your cute baskets at the end of the month the next thing i like to do for sorting is to not overthink it so my biggest laundry tip is just wash more together so i have like my linen pile that you saw um, and jackets then I have a regular clothes pile and then I do like my towels so I basically use like linens towels delicates and then regular stuff so I just like to wash as much as I can together so that way I'm not overthinking it or waiting for a load and really it doesn't harm your laundry at all and let me just say if you're watching this video I appreciate you so much but I really wanted to make this video for the people that have an extremely hard time sticking to a laundry budget I mean to a laundry routine and just um, you know who are having a hard time getting it together because I've been there and I'm still not perfect at this and I'm not saying people are if they have it together when it comes to their laundry routine I'm just saying I really wanted to make a difference by sharing you with you guys what I do to have a laundry routine even though I don't do it every day share is that you should stand up while doing your laundry I feel like it helps a lot more um, it's traditional for people to want to sit down I think but I love to stand up so that I don't fall asleep and also you can burn like up to 200 calories by standing for like an hour so that's definitely a win especially if you're at home most of the time um, and it's a cool way to sneak in some activity motivation is definitely some you know gangster music while you're doing your laundry or putting on your favorite show or video um, definitely don't just sit there and expect you to be excited about doing your laundry especially if you're dealing with the chaos of the house with your pets running around and your kids screaming and asking you for things definitely find your distraction and just get motivated for you and my absolute best tip for you is to pre-hang your kids clothes uh, you can even do this for yourself for outfits that's what you see me doing off to the side over there where, where I'm folding pants I'm just preparing those to be hung so that way I'm killing two birds with one stone and I already have things sorted so it's imperative that you hang as much as you can especially if you have a small space here's what I do here so once a week I will just go through and make up as many outfits I can for both kids and that way, you know, especially if you have independent kids ripping through their drawers and stuff, this just takes a hassle out of that. 
and also you could do the no fold so all the undergarments and stuff I don't fold any of that especially inside of the drawers where nobody's seeing it or if you have small kids nobody's seeing the inside of your babies and toddlers drawers so just implement allowing them to just have no fold drawers so for pajamas I do fold them when I put them in there but I'm not crazy if they get jangled up you know so the outfits are what is the most important thing that stays together and that's why I hang them this pre-hanging method makes it super simple for me to already have school clothes ready for the week. If dad needs a quick change of clothes and they don't want to be looking crazy and not match, <laughs> or if the kids just want to pick their outfits out, it's already ready to go. And if we're having a hectic morning, I don't have to think about it. So I just wanted to share with you guys a few other quick laundry hacks that I didn't get to film footage for. So that would be that um, if you're having a hard time keeping up with laundry and you're just not sticking to a schedule no matter what your reason is, um, what you could do to feel better and get motivated is start by doing your kids laundry first. That way if everybody's laundry is sorted out, you don't have to feel guilty for not having the laundry done or somebody needed an outfit in the morning. You'll just have their laundry done and then if you don't want to do laundry and you want to get to yours in your own time, then you can do that. But um, that's why I like to wash everything just together so that way I can just get as much done as I can. But if you're having a hard time getting around to it, start with the kids laundry, get some momentum built up on your accomplishments tasks and then move into the rest. Another thing you could do like I was doing with my basket sorting while I was folding is if you're having a hard time just getting to the laundry all at once, especially if you have a particularly large family, what you could do is set up a little laundry station near your washer and dryer. Just have baskets sorted out and have everybody's laundry sorted into its own space. And then um, everybody can get to folding and putting away their laundry when they do. And or that way, if you're not getting around to taking care of it right away, you can just go in and get what you need because you know that your shirts are in one area. The socks are all in one area, you know, things like that. So that's another way to bulk sort without having to um, put it all away right away. Another quick tip is just that if you have clothing that's delicate or you want to preserve the longevity of it, I would say to install a drying rack. Um, you'll see that, I think you've probably seen in one of the clips, I have a drying rack hung up on the ceiling. I just bolted it into the wood up there. Um, and so this helps me to allow me to dry more things and just have my clothes last a little bit longer. And it takes away, like if you are washing everything together, sometimes a fleece sweater isn't the best to dry with a pair of jeans because those jeans are going to take a lot longer to dry. So, you know, sometimes you might want to wash your jeans separately or just take out those delicate items to dry so that they don't get ruined while drying with heavier items. Okay, so one last time, I'm just going to walk you through my laundry routine, which is, I'm going to read it off right here so it's in order. So I just have, I wash every other day. I fold and sort and pre-hang once a week, and I usually do it on Thursdays too. Um, and then I do towels once a week, which are folded by the kids. And then I wash blankets as needed, but at least every two weeks. And then pillows as needed, stuff like that. So that is my laundry routine. I really hope that you guys got a lot of good tips and um, just laundry hacks that you can utilize in your laundry habits so that you can start getting your life together and getting your laundry back in order. Yeah. So if you did like this video, please share it with somebody because I hope that it will help somebody make a difference in their laundry habits and in their cleaning routines. Um, just remember that when you're doing this, you don't have to be perfect. A lot of times we get hung up on having a routine and having a schedule because we're not being perfect about it or because we don't feel like we're doing it as well as other people, especially if you are a YouTube viewer or um, a YouTuber yourself. Sometimes it's just... It's easy to get caught up on not doing it um, as good as others, but you need to remember that the laundry routine is your laundry routine and you have to do what's going to work best for you. You might be watching somebody and think, oh wow, this person's laundry routine is perfect. They may only have one to two to three kids and maybe you have five to ten kids. So you really need to integrate habits that are going to work for you into your routine. But I just wanted to share with you guys simple things you can do if you're like me and you suck at laundry and you know, you're just having a hard time getting it together. I don't care why you're having a hard time getting it together. You just are, and that's okay. But I'm just here to tell you that you can, in fact, have a laundry routine, even though you don't do it every day, and you can still have a system in place that helps you manage and keep your life in order. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're new, and give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later.